The TBS N Talk has always been largely about one thing, fun. The BS4 scooter was a grunty and eager little thing with a rather enjoyable riding experience. But then came BS6. And even though the fuel injected BS6 version retained its power and torque figures on paper, it felt and was a fair deal slower, largely thanks to lazier power delivery. It seems though that TVS has heard our complaints because it's now given us this the N Talk Race XP, the most powerful 125cc scooter in India. Here's what it's all about. <laughs> This is still the same 125cc 3-valve motor as before, but thanks to what TVS calls significant improvements in gas flow dynamics and combustion, you get almost an extra 1 horsepower over the N-Torque Race Edition. There's also another 0.3 Newton meters of torque, but more importantly, the meaty power delivery is back. And along with it, the fun. The N-Torque once again feels zippy and quick, even in its slower street mode. In race mode, it's eager right off the mark and more than happy to help you quickly seize gaps in city traffic. It'll also get up to respectable highway speeds with reasonable ease while still retaining its trademark refinement almost throughout. The data backs this up because in our tests, the Entog Race XP is now one of the quickest accelerating scooters we've tested so far. And it's right up there with the Aether 450X and the Aprilia SR160. Most of this extra performance is down to the extra power and torque, but some of it is also down to the 2 kg of weight savings that TVS has managed thanks to the use of lighter materials. The extra oomph does come at the cost of fuel efficiency though. Things aren't so bad on the highway, where the Race XP's figure of 55 kpl is only marginally down from the race edition and still very respectable for this segment, especially considering the sort of performance that this scooter offers. But in the city, this scooter does take a beating, managing only 46 kpl when ridden sedately, and this number can plummet quite drastically if you get frivolous with the throttle. The Entoc has always been one of the most feature-rich scooters in the country, and this Race XP takes things a notch further still. Because you now get two riding modes, street and race. As you'd expect, street is tuned for a balance of performance and fuel efficiency, and has slightly lower power and torque figures while race mode gives you maximum engine output at the cost of fuel efficiency. The difference isn't night and day, but you can discern between the two modes, and all our mileage tests were conducted in street mode. That being said, throttle response in race mode is smooth enough for you to use that mode pretty much all the time, without the scooter feeling over-eager. The Entoch has always had Bluetooth connectivity, but the system has now been improved further with the introduction of voice assist. The starter button has been smartly repurposed so that once the engine is on, pressing and holding it for one second prompts the scooter to start listening to you. Using a wired or wireless headset, you can then instruct it to perform various tasks including navigating to the nearest petrol pump, changing riding modes or adjusting the brightness of the scooter's display, among others. This feature adds genuine value and works quite well if you do have a wired or wireless headset. It's pleasantly accurate at deciphering what you're saying and allows you to achieve a fair amount of tasks without having to stop and pull out your phone. Like the Race Edition, the Race XP also gets an LED headlight that's quite powerful and has a sharp, well-focused beam. Bodywork is identical to all other NTOC variants, but you'll be able to spot a Race XP quite easily, because the colours and graphics on the scooter are rather loud. Not only are there prominent Race XP badges all over the scooter, but it also gets snazzy red wheels and even a red engine cooling fan. If this doesn't suit you, then you're out of luck, because this red and black colour scheme that you see here is the only available colour option for the Race XP. Aside from these tweaks, the Entoc Race XP is largely the same. And that's good news, so long as you're not a very light rider. Because the rest of the autocar team thinks this has a rather comfortable suspension setup, but my 55 kilos don't seem to work the suspension enough, meaning that to me, the rear shock feels rather stiff and ride quality is quite uncomfortable. I guess this is one that you just have to try for yourself. On the upside, 12-inch wheels at both ends and chunky tyres mean that handling is rather sweet. 
In my case, the Entoc feels confident and agile over well-paved surfaces, but again, the firm ride doesn't mix too well with mid-corner bumps and robs me of some confidence. But the rest of the team thinks that this is a very stable handler. The braking setup is good too, with a sharp and powerful front disc. In fact, this has one of the shortest braking distances among any scooter that we've tested. The Race XP costs a touch over 84,000 rupees. So it's 4,000 more expensive than the Race Edition, but around 12,000 more expensive than the base variant with drum brakes. But in the context of the market, it's still fairly well priced. It's almost 4,000 rupees more affordable than the equivalent Suzuki Bergman Street, despite being quicker and offering comparable features. So the 4,000 rupee premium is a fair price to pay for a scooter that's significantly quicker and more importantly recaptures the fun and the spirit of the original N-Talk. If for whatever reason the price or the city mileage are a deal breaker for you, you can always go for one of the standard variants.